Okay, so question number six here. Triangle big is similar to triangle mom. Find V. Now that's a side. So now we're trying to find, find a side, not an angle. We're finding the length of this side, not an angle. Mm. Okay, so that's a little more tricky. So the first thing we really should do to make this a little bit easier is reorient the little triangle, the, which is called big, but he's the little one. Move him over here, kind of flip him around so that he matches up with triangle mop. Well, what am I talking about? Well, triangle big, remember the order matters. The order really matters. So when they say B-I-G and M-O-P and they say they're similar, what, is, what does similar mean again? Similar means the exact same shape, but different sizes. Right? Last time we talked about congruence, that means identical. That means totally the same. One of them would fit right on top of the other. That's congruence. That's identicalness. Today, we're not doing that. We're doing similar, which means the same, they're the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. One's a bigger version, as you can tell, right? This, this one's a bigger version. This one's a smaller version. They look like they're the same shape. They are the same shape, exact same shape. If you, if you take the, this one, the big, and you blew it up, you made it bigger, it would fit right on that one. It's the same shape. It's just a smaller version of that same shape. So, okay. So um, now the, the order matters. B-I-G-M-O-P. See the order? Well, let me just trace that here. B-I-G-M-O-P. See how they're kind of upside down? See how the B starts in the bottom, goes up and over, B-I-G, whereas the M starts at the top, goes down and over? You see that? See how they're oriented upside down? See how the B is on the bottom and the M is on the top? We want to flip that around. We want to take this guy and flip it around. It'll just make life a lot easier for us. Let's just take them. So if they give you two triangles and they make a statement that you got to pay close attention to that order, that really matters. And then the easiest thing for you will be to reorient the, just grab the smaller one and flip it around so that it sits exactly like the bigger. What do you mean sits? I want the B up here on the top. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab it right over here and I'm going to flip it. So let me see, I'm going to do it just like this. There we go. So, and this will be um, B, I, G. See what I did there? I flipped it around. I grabbed this triangle and I kind of flipped it. Why? Because I want it to match up. See how B, see if you just go from B, I, G, M, O, P. See how they're sitting in the same orientation now? You see that? B-I-G-M-O-P. I lined them up so they're easier to look at. And that'll make solving the problem a lot easier. So again, it's start at B, go to I, go to G, big, and then mop, start at M, go to O, go to P. Same visual positioning, right? Okay, let's bring over the sides now. Here we go. So the, uh, the V is between the B and the I. So same thing over here. The V is between the B and the I. So we get B, down to small, V. And then the 48 is between the I and the G. So I and G, it's gonna be 48. Right there. And then the uh, 66 is between the B and the G. So B and the G, right here, 66. All right. So I flipped triangle big around. So it's oriented just like triangle mop. Now I'll just forget about this one. Just, you know, don't even need to pay attention to that one anymore. I'll just match up with these two. Now, what do we do from here? We're trying to find a side. They want us to find V, which is this side right here. How do we find the side 
right? They, they, they're the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. It's, it's not going to be, you might say, well, it's 60. Well, you know, it's not 60. Just look at it. It's, it's smaller than 60, isn't it? The triangle on the right is smaller than the triangle on the right. It can't be 60. They're different sizes. They're the same shape, but different sizes. How do, I actually, how do I actually find V over here? It's not going to be 60. It's something smaller than 60. What am I going to do? Well, that's where if you look at the notes, I gave you all this. This is the exam, two notes. And uh, right down here, I gave the rest of the story, as some commentator used to say, Paul Harvey, I think, the rest of the story. Anyway, um, similar triangles. Again, they're the exact same shape, but one may be a larger version and the other a smaller version of that same shape. So like these two, here's a perfect example from your notes. These guys, here's a small version and a big version. You can tell they look identical, except one's a bigger version and one's a smaller version, right? They're similar. Those are similar triangles. They're not congruent. They're not identical, but they're the same shape, different sizes, right? If you took the tiny one and you expanded it, it would eventually match the bigger one. Anyway, notice what happens. All three angles are equal. But the sides are not equal, but they're in the same ratio. That's going to be something we use a lot of now. The three sides are in the same ratio, meaning the left side over the left side is the bottom over the bottom is the diagonal over the diagonal or the right over the right, whatever you want to call it. Left over left, bottom over bottom, diagonal over diagonal, or bottom, said bottom over bottom right here, whatever. You know, left over left, right over right, bottom over bottom. They're, they're going to be equal. They got to be in the same ratio. What do I mean ratio? I don't know if you noticed, but all these guys are in the ratio of two thirds. How do I know? If you divided this guy by three, top and bottom, see what you get? Two thirds. What if you took this guy in the middle and you divided him top? Oh, that's not a very good color there. What if you divided this guy by uh, four? Top and bottom, you get two thirds. What if you divided this guy by five top? But well, we get two thirds. They're all two thirds. All those side ratios are in the ratio two thirds. Do you see that? That's what's true about similar triangles. Their sides are not equal. They're not the same, but they have the same ratio. Left over left equals right over right equals bottom over bottom or top over top or diagonal over diagonal. What do you want to call it? It's the same ratio. You can tell, right? Six to nine. 10 to 15, 8 to 12. See, and same thing here. Look at, look at these triangles. These are similar. 3 to 12, 3 to 12. What's four times as big? 6 to 4. See how it's four times as big? It's the same ratio. If I took left, right, left over left, 3 over 12, or right over right, right over right, I get 3 over 12. And if I took bottom over bottom, I get uh, six over 24. See how all those are equal to one fourth. If you reduce those fractions, if you divided top and bottom by three, you'd get one fourth. Top and bottom by three, same thing. Top and bottom by six, it'd be what? It'd be one fourth. All, because because this, this, this is four times as big. This triangle, all his sides are four times as big. So triangles that are similar triangles means they're exactly the same shape, but one's a bigger version so the sides are in a consistent ratio, left over left, right over right, bottom over bottom. The, the ratio, the ratios are equal. We call that proportional. The ratios are equal. The, the angles are equal. The angles are exactly the same, but the sides are in the same ratio, not equal, but in the same ratio. Okay, so let's go back to this problem then. So that means on this problem, we can say that left over left equals right over right equals bottom over bottom, doesn't it? For this problem, left over left, right over right, bottom over bottom. Well, well how, okay, but there's three fractions there. I don't want to use three fractions. Which two fractions do we use? Skip the one with no letter or number. Skip the one. So what, what I mean, this one right here. See, I don't know this one. 
I don't know that one, skip it. So here's left, left, right, right, bottom, bottom. I'm gonna skip the bottom in this case, why? Because I, I don't know this bottom. So skip the one with no letter or no number. You, you can't do anything with that. You don't know this, so skip this guy. Don't do the bottom, bottom. Skip the bottom, bottom setup. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do left over left equals right over right, because those are the ones I have. So I go left, 99 over left, 99 over 66 is equal to right, 60 over right, which is V. Ah, now I can solve for V. We just got to cross multiply. Does that make sense what I'm doing there? So when you know that triangles are similar, they told us that right up here. Triangles are similar. You can do the side, the angles are equal and the sides are in equal ratios. So left over left equals right over right equals bottom over bottom. Grab the two you have, skip this one. You don't know anything about the bottom. So skip the bottom, just do left, left equal left over left is right over right. So there we go. And then we just cross multiply. Let's remember this from earlier times, di di diagonal, diagonal. So you get 99 times V is 66 times 60. So 99 times V is 66 times 60. I'm getting 3960, last step, divide by 99. Okay, use your calculator, that's what I'm doing, 40. So we got V, V is 40. We're done with the problem. So we were able to find the third, the, that, that side V by flipping around the triangle big to match them up. And then I did left over left equals right over right because similar triangles have equal ratios on the sides. And then I cross multiplied and solved for V. There we go.